the SKA is all about impact and it's also very much about communicating that impact. Uh, it's a project which has embraced the principles of open science, not only open access and open data, but also open to society. And at the head of this effort to communicate the SKA and its impact is William Gartner, who's had a long career in science uh, communication, working notably at the European Southern Observatory in, in Chile, and over recent years has been in charge of a very impressive SKA uh, communication effort. And he will be our next speaker. Over to you, William. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you for the great introduction that you gave actually at the start of the session. I thought it was really you know, spot on and really set the scene very nicely. So welcome everyone, uh, very pleased to be here today. So yeah, as Dan said, I mean, I will be talking about uh, socioeconomic impact uh, of the SK, which is you know, very relevant obviously for, for, the, for this, uh, for this uh, session today. So first I'd like to, to set the scene uh, myself by proposing a, a definition of non-science impact, which is the one that we use ourselves which is quite uh, wide ranging, but very relevant for the, for the theme, you know, with the theme of the UN 75 General Assembly, which is the contribution that research makes to economy, society, culture, and uh, sustainability. So obviously, I mean, it's, it's a surprise for, for, for no one, but the main goal for uh, research infrastructures is to deliver uh, science, uh, top-notch science. Uh, but this ambition of research excellence uh, is only a part of a much bigger picture, if, if I could say. Um, and so the, the impact landscape has, uh, has changed and evolved you know, dramatically over the last few years. Uh, and what was before considered um, as a, you know, a nice thing to have, in a sense, uh, you know, like a natural consequence of uh, investment in uh, large-scale RIs, uh, has now become a driver uh, for these investments. Uh, so we have to think about uh, wider impact early on uh, to build a compelling case. And of course, a good idea is to look at the past, you know, to look at similar uh, RIs, uh, and there are great examples out there, uh, and a strong you know, impact evidence with the many, many spin-offs uh, generated by these RIs that have made their way across society and that we are actually using in our everyday life in, in many cases. Um, and radio astronomy in particular is not short of these uh, you know, great developments and innovations. Um, but of course, it's always challenging to talk about uh, future impact. And uh, as we all know, you know, crystal ball has its limitations. Um, but in the SKA, uh, as, as we said earlier, impact has always been very high on the agenda. Uh, and of course, the SK has been around, as you, as you will have heard from, uh, from the DG just now. It's been around for quite some time. Uh, and this means that many countries have been involved for many years in R&D work, uh, in building skills, in building, in you know, developing science, uh, engineering, industrial, and digital capacity, and so on and so forth. Um, and so, in many of these countries, we we also have what we call uh, pathfinder and precursor facilities, uh, and these facilities are state-of-the-art facilities uh, in their own right. Uh, that the growing SK science community uh, has been using for many years as well, you know, and, and playing with, if you like. And these facilities allow us as well to test new technologies and technological developments. So all of this is already generating value, uh, creating jobs, uh, you know, creating benefits and impact, you know, locally, nationally, and globally. Uh, and of course, as we get into construction uh, and operations, uh, starting from next year, actually, SKAO will be building on this and will be, you know, quite logically increasing this impact uh, with the sheer scale of, of all the activities which, which we expect. Uh, and we will make sure that we, we monitor this impact uh, along the way. I mean, it's, in passing, it's not, you know, necessarily <laughs> a trivial thing to do, but, you know, we, we, we endeavor to do that anyway. Um, and now it's actually absolutely critical for us to have a compelling impact case for SKO because we are uh, in the process of securing all the funding for the construction and for and for the the operations. And for us, it's been very you know, absolutely critical uh, from from the start, you know, to link, if you like, this impact to the to the to the global challenges and to show that radio astronomy, as a global radio astronomy organization, we can and will support uh, the UN SDGs. Um, that you can see here on the slides. You know. And actually, I, I realized that 
we, we will also contribute to some, some other SDGs, which, which I will have to include in, in, the, in, in, my, in my slides as well. And indeed, we are already uh, you know, contributing to, to the cause, if you like. And very recently, for instance, uh, uh, with the COVID-19, well, COVID-19 showed that you know, how radio astronomy skills and expertise can be used to great effect in the response to the pandemic. Um, so I don't expect you to read the blue box here. It's just, you know, uh, highlights of, uh, of some contributions from SKAO and, and, and its partners um, on, a, you know, in, in, on a number of, uh, in a number of ways. But I think a great example is the one which is uh, on your screen just now, which is, you know, our South African colleagues, uh, we were tasked by the South African government to use the skills that they developed uh, in, build, in designing and be, building Meerkat to lead the development uh, of, of new ventilators uh, in South Africa. And a large number of these ventilators have actually uh, been manufactured, manufactured and they are being used uh, as we speak. So it's a great example of, of skills transfer from radio astronomy to, to some other field and wider society. So now I've got a couple of slides just uh, you know, showing concrete impact stories, uh, which are already, already happening across the partnership and how they directly relate uh, to, the, to the SDGs. So this one, this one slide, uh, it refers to the telescope sites in Australia and South Africa. So you can see um, uh, science diplomacy in action uh, with a BRICS minister's uh, visit uh, in, in the Karoo on the top left. Uh, and actually there will be a dedicated talk you know, on science diplomacy, SK uh, as a science diplomacy tool later on today. Um, you can see some joint initiatives with indigenous communities, uh, in particular the, the Shared Sky uh, artwork uh, on the bottom left that we developed with the indigenous communities in Australia and South Africa. Uh, you can see a photo um, uh, in, in the middle of the screen, a photo of students from the DARA program, uh, which is run across Africa and that uh, my colleague Anna Scaife will be talking about later today as well. Uh, and of course, as said, I mean, the, there's been a great deal of activities uh, on site already around the precursor facilities and in the pre-construction era for the SKA, which had, had turned into you know, creation of jobs, uh, contracts to the local and regional and national industry as well, as you can see here. And, and on the bottom right here, you can see also a great example of use of renewable energy um, with a hybrid uh, diesel um, solar power station which is powering, uh, as we speak, actually, the ASCAP and the MWA telescopes in Western Australia. And we, as the SK, we are planning to intensify the use of uh, renewable energy. And now this slide, which is, you know, again, it doesn't aim to cover all the activities. It's just a helicopter view of some of the, you know, great impact stories and case studies happening across the partnership, you know, uh, beyond and the, the, the of sites. So yeah. um, on, the, on the bottom left here, sorry, uh, on the bottom left here, you can see actually a, it's a so-called 4G uh, long-term evolution, evolution antenna, uh, which has found already commercial applications. Um, and this antenna is a direct uh, byproduct of the SK low uh, uh, antennas that we developed for the, for the, for the Australian side. And you can all also see, you know, some, uh, some technological developments uh, happening, involving innovation, involving, involving development of new skills, obviously. You can see outreach and education in action in India, in, in, in the UK, in Italy, in, in Canada. And, and on the, in the center of the screen, you can see the, the mind-blowing <laughs> fast uh, telescope in China as well, uh, which, which has generated a wide impact uh, already in a number of ways, uh, and which is in a sense, which is linked you know, to, to the SK program as well. And there will be a talk actually on, on, on several of these aspects uh, later on today in, in your session. So just, just to finish, just to say that, you know, that was a, you know, a, a brief summary, if you like, of, of all of these impact stories, but all of these stories, plus what I said earlier, you know, looking at, at history, looking at similar arrays, and how they've performed, uh, you know, from an impact point of view, all of these give us confidence that, uh, you know, our projection, projections for the future impact of the SK are realistic, and that indeed, you know, the SK will, will generate uh, an extremely wide-ranging 
uh, impact with immediate and long lasting benefits for society. Um, so just on this slide here, uh, I'm trying to summarize, you know, what we envisage as the impact for the SK going forward. So, you know, from an economy point of view, you, you, of course, we are, we are talking about, you know, massive investments during construction and operations, which will turn into, you know, cash for the local and national economy, jobs creation. Um, there will be a rise, you know, of, and there is, and there will be a rise of uh, astrotourism as well, which will generate revenues, you know, close to the telescope sites. Um, as we say, there will be a number of benefits for society as well, uh, you know, in terms of training, development, uh, outreach activities, you know, to, uh, and education activities to keep inspiring millions uh, around the world. Um, and also, as the SK, we've got this unique opportunity to really contribute to, you know, to progressing some of the, of the main issue, global issues like, you know, EDI, you know, due to the very nature of the SKA and a strong EDI vision. Um, and as, of course, as we said, I mean, we expect a lot of innovation uh, coming out, you know, in areas such as low power electronics, uh, computing and data management, new techniques for high bandwidth, uh, ultra accurate synchronization and timing, AI, machine learning, you know, you name it. Um, and all of this will, will transfer into, you know, IP, uh, skills transfer, you know, and, and opening new markets for this industry. Uh, and, you know, with applications way beyond astronomy, uh, that's for sure. And also in terms of, you know, sustainability, uh, you know, the development of energy efficient uh, uh, com computers, which is, you know, quite exciting field. Um, and on the sustainability front, you know, a few other things as well. As I said, we will try to minimize, you know, as much as possible our negative environmental impact, you know, by uh, using more and more re renewable energies. You know, a strong emphasis is made and will be made in preserving and valuing, uh, you know, local heritage uh, and flora and fauna, you know, at the, at the telescope sites with a strong relations with the indigenous communities and, and the local communities on site. Um, and yeah, on the cultural front, you know, the, as I say, the preservation of the, of the indigenous culture, very important. Try to intensify and to link, you know, even more as we've done, you know, art and science, you know, to, to, to try to, 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 to enthuse even more people, you know, the, the art lovers, you know, and to get them into, into science and to use as much as possible, you know, the media and social media and broadcasters, you know, to, to really yeah, spread the word, if you like, and, and, you know, enthuse people and embed the SK in the popular culture. So all of that, uh, as I'm sure you will have understood, is, is extremely relevant for the discussion today and for, the, for you know, progressing the, 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 the SDGs. So thank you very much, Dan. And uh, well, I understand there will be a discussion later on today, but feel free to ask questions on the chat box anyway, if you want to. Thank you.